All right, friends, we are on day two of our hump and slump mold project. And this is what your project should look something like this on day two, whether you've used the outside or the inside of something that already exists in the world, it should have lost a little bit of its moisture. You'll know because when you remove it, it has taken on the shape of the outside of this bowl. Now, if your project is still too soft, you'll want to wait. You might even need to put it outside for a couple minutes and let it lose a little bit of its moisture because it should be in that kind of soft leather hard stage where when I put this down, it's not going to fall flat again. So you can be the judge on kind of how firm you want it to be, but essentially uh, this paper bowl's job is over because it has shaped my little dish here um, using the exterior. So now I'm gonna be able to use some other um, tools to kind of really clean this up. One of my favorite tools, of course, always, always is the sponge. Um, kind of stamping out some of those little lines that the plate caused, really cleaning up this edge. Again, holding it like a taco and then just going over and over and over on this outside edge is going to really clean up any imperfections from cutting and you could do so much wonderful detail with a sponge. It is very obvious when students are using those sponges to their benefits because the clay just loves that smoothness. And of course, if you're using water, you're naturally going to be putting a little bit of moisture back into it. So just be a little bit cautious that you don't flatten it out again. Um, you wanna kind of use that sponge for its benefits but not necessarily get it so soggy that it's gonna to wanna to change its shape again. Another tool, if your uh, clay is firm enough, is the metal or wood rib tools. And just kind of holding it like you would a credit card, um, rubbing it on this outside edge over and over and over is going to help shave down any kind of bumps and bruises that kind of occurred from the cutting process. So you can kind of be the artist here, determine what you want that exterior shape to look like and really stamp out any imperfections. Same thing on the bottom. You can use your sponge, really clean it up and prepare it for the next step, which is going to be carving. You're gonna have artist choice here for what you carve, but carving is going to be where we're headed with this one, really practicing some of those carving skills. We'll continue to look at some different carving videos and understand kind of different tools that are uh, best used for carving. But today's goal is to make sure our hump or slump molded project has formed and we've cleaned it all up, gotten it ready. You might even decide to put your name on it while the clay is really soft and while it's maybe still on the form, that way you can press against it. And then of course, get it all prepared for that carving. All right, have a wonderful day, everyone.